Hello everyone, uh, this is Mate, CAM Management Specialist for NRC Afghanistan. Uh, and I would like to uh, present you today uh, a case from here in Western Afghanistan. I am in Herat in our office now. Uh, that is a transition between uh, formal site management or sort of formal site management towards area-based response based from a UDOC center. Um, and the reason why we are doing this transition is uh, we have an area here that you can see in which we have uh, several informal settlements, uh, mainly populated by dis recently displaced uh, IDPs from both conflict and natural disaster in the last one and two years, uh, who live very close to another area, which will be this area, in which we have protracted IDPs from around 10, five, 5 to 10, 15 years ago, and uh, also uh, close by uh, areas where very vulnerable host community members live. Those groups, in fact, they, they mix very often, they are very difficult to differentiate, and um, when uh, there are uh, news of eventual humanitarian assistance, we witness a massive movement of protracted IDPs and impoverished host communities back to those informal uh, settlements and uh, the construction of hundreds of uh, uh, makeshift shelters in order to, to access humanitarian assistance of people who in fact do not really uh, live on those informal settlements. Uh, meanwhile, a lot of people in these uh, um, recently displaced IDP settlements are slowly transitioning towards du durable or um, attempting to have durable solutions by purchasing land and property or settling down in this area of more protracted displacement. Uh, this has faced us with, chal with challenges of understanding the, the different groups, the vulnerabilities, and unfortunately most of the humanitarian programming has been uh, status-based. I say unfortunately because um, some humanitarian programming has been addressed only to conflict IDPs or only to dual IDPs or only to IDPs that arrived two years ago but not three years ago or not even uh, more recently. So this, this has uh, caused a lot of tensions in the area and we want to address some of those tensions uh, through this area-based uh, response. We want to encourage other actors to, to work in a vulnerability-based criteria. Uh, we want to try to promote durable solution and to understand to understand how this transition happens between a, pro, uh, a freshly displaced uh, IDP site towards a protracted IDP site towards an urban, impoverished urban area eventually. And we want to contribute to the understanding of those changes through a, through a, through a more holistic approach, uh, area-based approach in, in, in this uh, part of the city. So these are some of the, the, um, the ideas we have. We do... Uh, almost all the activities that a site management um, uh, or CAM management agency should do, but we cannot do site care and maintenance because of uh, we are talking about uh, private-owned uh, lands in this area. So this is a very sensitive uh, issue, but we work closely with our ICLA colleagues for HLP issues and advocacy. And uh, we, we, we hope to, to transition uh, efficiently. Uh, we also have a strong cash component that we are increasing um, uh, as an aid to, 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 to emergency situations, and which is being uh, very successful in the last uh, year. And uh, we are looking forward to your comments about this situation, whether you have faced similar situations. We hope you find it interesting and we can discuss further. And uh, I wish you all uh, a successful um, cluster retreat and greetings from here, from Afghanistan, from Herat.